Excuse intrusion, but oh, Mr. Sloan is in here too. Looks like he's in a deep conversation with Stella at the moment. Let me make one thing perfectly clear, Bianca. You're the general manager of the Lehman's Reserve Bank, so you have to take responsibility when problems like this arise. If it gets out that we've lost 100 million quid, there will be a rush on the bank. All our customers won't take their dep deposit away. And if that happens, we're finished. Am I getting through to you? Loud and clear, Mr. Slowanes. All right, then, good. I've got a lot of faith in you, though, Bianca. You weather the storm for us. Um, the thing is... What? Nothing. Forget it. So, so where are we going now, Mr. Slowanes? The ventilator in the Hermes, Hermes is playing up. I've got to call the minute as well and get him to take a look at it. I see. Bianca, you've got someone to say, spit it out, lads. No, really, it's, um, it's nothing. I think I'm starting to figure out what's going on here. Alright then, if you're sure, I'll be off. Make sure you see all the situation past our jobs as well, won't you? Yes, I will. Golly, they really are. They're in a real fix, aren't they? We've got to get a lot of mongrels that did this, or mongrel. Ah, Miss Layton, I didn't see you there. How's the investigation coming along? Well, I think we just um, like to have a word with Miss Teller again. Be my guess. Ta ta for now, then. Oh, it's you. I thought you were supposed to be investigating the robbery for us. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Well, I'm a very busy woman, so there is something you need to for me. Could you keep it short, please? Sure thing, but first let me investigate here. Oh. Gorgeous gift box, nice. Oh, look at that cute little safe. A world apart from the vault we were looking at before, isn't it? Perhaps we should install a safe like that in the office, miss. Sadly, Ernest, I don't have anything valuable enough to put in a safe. I don't have money to speak of. And you've already got a safe place to keep all your documents. Piled high on your desk. You're interested in my safe now, are you? Well, obviously it's tiny compared to the Hermit 5000, but Mrs. Lowen had this one put in as well. So it was made by his company as well? Yes, although I don't know how know much about this, his business affairs outside of the bank. Apparently he markets his little safes as being as tough as a bank's vault. Your boss is a very shrewd businessman, obviously. Mrs. Lowen is a perfect example of a manager as far as I'm concerned. Until now, he's mainly focused on the financial on the financial sector. But I think he's intending to branch out into other areas from now on. Gosh, he really is a very impressive man. Yes, it's quite extraordinary that in just 10 years, the Lehman's Reserve Bank has opened branches all over the country. Um, these papers here... That's private bank business, thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry, it becomes a, it becomes a habit, you see, when you're a detective. You seem to have an awful lot of documents here, though, Mr. Star. Well, these, they're all insurance documents, not that it's anything to do with you. I didn't realize the Lehman's Reserve Bank offered insurance as well. Is that a new line of business you're pursuing? No, this isn't insurance for our customers. Customers, this is our own insurance. The bank takes out insurance against unforeseen mishaps and the like. If there was a fire or some other unforeseen disaster, we'd get a payout to cover any losses. Well, this is certainly an unforeseen disaster, isn't it? A bank robbery on this scale. Yeah, that's true. It just goes to show you never know what's around the, cor around the corner. Hmm. So the bank is insured. I am honestly not sure what insurance has to do with the cat, but yeah, sure, let's go with the clue. With that clue, at least. Wait, I just realized. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it says here that. We... Oh, this one and this one here. I thought this one here was gonna be like these guys here that's supposed to be separate pieces. No, this one apparently is a big piece and so on and so on. I was wondering what was that all about. Oh, joy. This is a jolly fine play, don't you think? Yeah, it's alright. Personally, I find the puzzle that's behind it more interesting. Gosh, I hadn't noticed. 
What a funny place to hide a puzzle. Spaceship SOS. Hmm. There is a spaceship that's out of fuel and is just drifting in space. You need to get all the nearby energy orbs to, to it in order to power all the engines again. You can move the orbs horizontally, vertically and diagonally, either to fuse with the other orbs or to refuel the spaceship. Get them all to the spaceship either in one huge fuse orb delivered or several small orbs on. You can get on... You can't get around the ice rays, however. What do you mean by that? Wait. Okay, now... Okay, so they can only travel... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, now. Okay, I get it now. Uh, hold on, I'll try to figure this puzzle out. Hold on a second. Two hours later. Okay, let's try with this one, because this one here is the most isolated one. And from this one, know that we can actually go to this one. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you go here. You go here. Hmm. Wait, you go here with this one? Yes, I think I figured out. You go here with this one, here with this one, here with this one, and voila! Yep. I have a feeling that perhaps... Thank goodness I got that right. Yeah, the general idea is you can move them, but you don't need to move them all in a straight line or in the straight... You can move them a bit, then move another one. That's what it is. You did it. You've breathed life into you've breathed life. Yeah. You've breathed life into the spaceship once more. You decide to fire up the engines and do some more interstellar exploration. Just what the gate is. Do, just what the gate is, sign pilot. Sorry. There, I did it, miss. I solved it. So you did, Andrews. Just as well. I can't have my assistant being poor at puzzles. Absolutely not, miss. But there's no need to worry, I won't let you down. Oh. Nice. Remember, all the lights. That's useful. When you already talked to this. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, I suppose there's only. We need to talk to her now. Yeah, yeah, I was making sure to check the picture. Ah, uh, maybe there isn't more? Mm, I think I'm missing a hint coin here, but I'm not fine, so that's good. So, you want to ask me something? Yes, that's right. I understand that the disappearance of the money from the vault hasn't been made public yet. Obviously, the bank doesn't intend to keep something like that little like the secret forever. But there could be repercussions far beyond the Lehman's Reserve Bank itself. What do you mean? I mean that a disappearance of 100 million pounds is likely to cause widespread financial uncertainty. And not just in London. All over the country, people will panic. That's why I've asked Inspector Hastings to keep this matter quiet until we sort it out as best we can. When the time is right, we will issue a press release and the bank will take full responsibility for any errors where its handling of the situation has been less than perfect. I see, thank you, that explains it. Gosh, miss, I knew it was serious, but I didn't realize it was this serious. You have to find out me. You have, we have to find the missing money. Well, I think we've got the information we needed now. Thank you, Miss Teller. I don't see what any of that had to do with the robbery. What a waste of time. Don't worry, 
I assure you, we will track down the missing money. Hmm. Well, I'm not holding on much hope. Oh, don't you think that I... I'm up to the task? What? Oh, um, no, 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 I didn't mean that. It doesn't matter. Once all this has blown over, I, ex I expect I'll be saying goodbye to my role as general manager in any case. But that's not fair. I mean, it's not your fault, is it, Miss Teller? It's the fault of whoever sold the money. Even so, the box stops with me. I have to take responsibility for the bank's problems. And I don't imagine... Well, I can't see you catching the criminals in this case. Oh, don't worry, Miss Teller. Miss Layton has never been stumped by my mystery yet. I have no doubt she'll figure out who did this. Hmm. Never been stumped. Well, I suppose I should be reassured. That is like kind of sad, cause... Again, she's like you're very possibly not gonna lose her job, but have, but have a very difficult time ever even getting another job because of this, if this doesn't actually get, you know, solved. Cause here's the thing, I don't expect the... Mr. Lay... Leo? What was his name again? The, the rich guy we were working for. I don't like, expect him to just, you know, send her away because of this or something like that. I can like, imagine her actually quitting herself because of this and all that. But but it's going to become very difficult for her to, you know, recover from this. Because there is a saying that help a person a, a hundred times and they'll be grateful. But you you don't help them one time and they will forever resent you or something like that. And let me I'm not 100 percent sure that I'll, this would apply exactly here, but it's just a general idea, I think. The area of bank is open to the public, but it's not open. Did you find out anything useful talking to Bianca then? Yeah, she was very helpful, thank you. Although I don't think she believed that I was asking for her to be to be relevant to the case. Not relevant? What on earth were you, were you wasting time for? Them? Oh no, it's not a waste of time. Some time was seem re relevant at first, can later turn out to be a crucial piece of information. So really, any topic of conversation at all could be considered vital to the case. Yes, well, I suppose I can relate to that. It's the same on businesses. Oh really? Talking to your business partners face to face is the only way you can get to know them. And then you and them you. They say the most, that most new business start from an informal chat, so I fully understand how important it is to talk with folk. It's just a shame, well, I'm not the greatest conversationalist myself. No, no, I can see, no, I can see that. It's perhaps you should be quite, shouldn't be quite so brutally honest. Come to think of it, I haven't had a good chat with Bianca for a while. Not a proper one, anyway. We also have some quite involved conversation about business and the like. Oh, I didn't realize you and she had had that kind of relationship. She's a cracking businesswoman, is Bianca. Always seeking perfection. I have no qualms leaving the room, the running of the bank in her hands all these years. Anyway, I think I've done enough guessing, don't you? There's some mad about you, Miss Layton. I just find myself telling you stuff. I suppose it's a detective in you, eh? I suppose it is. Well, anyway, back to the matter at hand. What's your next move with the investigation? Yes, I was thinking. I'd like to have a look around outside the bank. Outside? Is that relevant? Haha! <laughs> you look... You like to keep people guessing, don't you, lass? Well, I'm not looking forward to hearing your take on this whole affair once you finish with this. Oh, oh sorry. Well, I'm looking forward when she's finished the investigation. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I saw these soon. Why is I'll talk to them? Oh, only two. Okay. What are we doing if you're on outside for a cat? The robbery happened inside the bank. True, but at some point or another, on a conventional crime, they would have to have, have gotten outside of the banks in some way or fashion. So they could have, for example, dug away from the sewers and used a manhole to escape. Mind you, lifting a manhole is not exactly easy, but it is doable, so still. That's true, Shul, but other than missing the 100 million notes, we haven't found a single trace of criminal activity inside. So I was wondering if you might have a better look out here, asking people if they noticed anything unusual last night, 
sorry, asking people if they noticed anything unusual last night or this morning. Yes, perhaps someone might, uh, might have seen the culprit. Let's start asking people. Mm -hmm. That's odd. What is it? Look at that! That banner hanging down from the bank's building up there. There's something not right about it. Whoa, that cheat. No, I mean there's something strange about it. I just can't put my finger on it. No, LR, long roller. Is this bank supposed to be the layman's bank or something like that? Alright then, we can investigate a banner at the same time as asking people out here if they notice anything. Okay, so this part is like important. There must be a bit of a breeze today. A long banner with a bank logo on its swing gently. Look. Ah, now there's an idea. A banner with the Leighton Detective Agency logo hanging from the eaves of the office building. Hmm? If you're, if you're up close to that thing, it would look enormous, I should think. Yeah, because again, it's like I said, it's swaying around. And the bank, and it is covering a lot of the wall here. So maybe someone could have gotten through here or out through here? Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you noticed anything strange around here. Say last night or this morning? Sorry, what? I, I don't know, really. This, uh, this is so-called business district. Open bracket. Boring. Close bracket. Oh, I just realized I'm Bob bracket. After hours, everyone goes home and it's pretty deserted. If anything had happened here last night or earlier this morning, I doubt anyone would have been here to see it. Oh, I see. Great, there goes that idea. Not necessarily. Just because it just says that no one will be here doesn't mean no one was here. Mav's busy cooking up this new idea for a film, I think. You can't keep that old fool down. Maybe around here. I found a few in the gutter before. Oh! This guy's got the. Okay. So, okay, I think I started to figure out what's happening. I don't think it was like a robbery case, more like a ventilation faulty case. Can we help? I'm rather wizard finding things, actually. Wow, who are you? And who says I'm looking for something anyway? Well, you did, just now. You were saying how you found a few in the gutter before. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. You're hanging things. You want to get your ears cleaned out. Shady. Definitely shady. He said the gutter, right? Oh, wait, there's a zoom there. Aha, I've got it. I know what's, I know what's not right with that banner. It's left. In other words, there isn't one on the other side, so it looks unbalanced. Unbalanced? Yes, I suppose it does, miss. You would expect to see one hanging down on the other side of the bank entrance as well. Barclays would never have only one man. I, I don't suppose it could have anything to do with the robbery. Uh, I wonder if it could be possibly be connected. Do you see what I see? That young man over there, you mean? Yeah, he's been loitering around here looking dodgy for a while. He's hightailing it. He went that way, towards the river. I knew he was suspicious from the beginning. Sure, cat, it was all you. Nothing to do with the old Cheryl O.C. Combs. He was clearly behaving strangely ever since we first spotted him. Well, I, I thought so anyway. Thank you, Ernest. Anyway, after him, boys, the chase's guy hot, is hotting up. Either I saw it wrong or, it, or it's, I don't know, a British thing. I think we might have just found out the lead we've been looking for. Oh, this one's a... Oh, no, wait, I, I was gonna say, oh, this is a new arrow, a new one. No, it's just the arrow. I'm being silly. Hehe, <laughs> my bad. Wow, 
Where did he go? He must have come this way. Perhaps he slipped off down on the side street or something. Well, I think it would be worth asking people around here if they've seen anyone suspicious. Uh, what the? I get it's supposed to pop up, but Jesus Christ, she looks creepy as all hell being there. Jesus. Oh, let me check the. Sorry, uh, yeah, houses, buildings, yada yada, who cares? Uh, oh, wait, wait. Aha! Um, let me check. Ah, uh, wait. I, I heard something. And I don't think it was her. Maybe it was her? Eh, well, that's... She probably has a puzzle for me. Yep. hi oh, one, two, one, two. This room is a perfect place to jog. It seems to go on and on forever. Like her, she's not even panting. Oh, I found this puzzle I was running along before. Can you solve it, do you think? Fortune Teller Fiasco 2 You've decided to visit a fabulous fortune teller, but it turns out you can decide your own fate with a little bit of brain power. Yeah, I, I can remember this one. If you can sack all the cards into the discard pile, you'll have good luck. The only rule is that you must either follow number or suit when placing the card in the pile. So I guess sacking and take control of your own destiny. So I think this one's have to be the first ones. Number of suit, right? One hour later. Okay, I think it needs to go like this, this, and this. Nope, I already said I did it wrong. Two hours later. Wait. Oh no, wait. Yeah, it needs to be five. Sorry. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Yeah, this one's a bit more complicated than the first one. Give me a moment to think this one through. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, I started with this one here because they had the same. So let's let's start with this one here. Five. The order is important. Three and four. Then this one is the only one with a four. Oh wait, no. Yeah. Four. Five, seven. Seven, eight, two, two, six, nine. There you go. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. The order there was actually important. Good to know. You did it. Think I was going to miss a figure clean. I see, I see a diamond card. Great twelve, yay. Well, that was a gold medal performance. That was well done. Thanks. Are you really going to give me a me give me a gold medal? <laughs> of course, Cap. Of course. I still feel like there should be more hint coins here, but whatever. Oh, this guy also has a puzzle for me. Excuse me, you didn't see a young man running past, did you? Wearing glasses and acting secretively. <sighs> Hello, sir. Oh, I heard you last. Can't help you, sorry. I don't have problems with me own at the minute anyway. I can't believe I lost it. It means the world to me. That picture, so it does. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you drop drop it somewhere perhaps? Oh, you're one of those, are you? Oh, of course I dropped it, you'd have to eat it. It was in my shirt pocket. But it must have fallen out. I looked all over, but I just can't find anyone. There was a fair wind just before dawn this morning, so I expect it's been blown away. Tell you what, why don't you have a go at this brain teaser I know about a photo? Now you could do with a laugh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Uh, picture the scene. 
There is a girl selling ice cream at a small, oh, sorry, at a stall on a viewing platform. A boy with a camera comes along and takes a boy girl shot. I'm assuming that means like a equivalent of maybe not a selfie, but taking a photo of a boy and a girl in the same shot. What is the minimum number of people that could have been on the viewing platform when the photo was was taken? Interesting. Wait. A minimum number of people on the photo was taken. I mean, two, right? It was a boy and girl shot. It must have at least be, been two. That's I have a, a lot. feeling that perhaps. Thank goodness I got that right. That puzzle did not feel like it needed 40 picarats, really. You did it. The boy girl shot was of the girl working in the, at the stall and the boy with a camera. Yeah. Also, that guy was way too old to be a boy, really. Stone the crows, that wasn't bad. I'm impressed, so I am. Mm, hang on. Now what's this now? Have you found something? My me photo! I thought I lost it lost that, but I'm after finding them over my other pocket. Ah, oh, what an idiot I am. Oh, that's smashing, I'm pleased for you. So remind me, what was you wanted before? You said we were looking for your specs, wasn't it? No, we we're looking for young men wearing glasses. A very suspicious looking of them. Ah, that fact, you know, acting all weird like he's doing some escape secret. If you see me, mean, he was heading for the bridge. That's great, thank you so much. Let's go to the bridge then. What? How the hell do you know? Where did it go? The special looking young man. The little terrier! He's giving us a slip again! Do you see that, Miss Layton? There's a piece of cloth or something flapping about over there, look! How can you not tell what it is? It's gigantic! Oh yes, isn't that... It looks like a banner from the bank building! Yeah, the banner of shame, you're right! Why would a banner from the bank have ended up all the way over here? Yes, that is a puzzle. Oh, hello there. Where, where is the late under the store in the making, as we say in the office now? So come on, what's the dirt? Over there, you see, there's a banner zag on the bridge. Corlimey, so there is indeed. Whereas I think this could have had something to do with a rather strong wind that was blowing just before dawn this morning. Blew itself out almost straight away, mind you. Yes, I think that would explain how the banner has come to be caught on the bridge there. Got blown by the gale. All the way from the bank? Gosh, must have been a veritable, veritable hurricane. I didn't know such a thing in the night, though. Enough of them went back right now. This the dirt, come on. You think you're working a case, eh? What's the deal? Remember not to mention the hundred million power the money can. Don't worry, show. I'm afraid nothing to tell you, though. I'm just all walking with my dog. Oh, I'd like to believe that, but my dirt alarm is bleeping like a razor blitz. No sign of a suspicious looking chap here at all, after all. Sorry, might as well head off the bridge then, I suppose. I'll lead the way, cat. Yeah, it's alright, so the better was born here in the strongest of wind. A very strong gust, in fact. That could be a clue. See what this here is all about. I wonder if someone from the bank will come to retrieve the banner. We should let them know it's here, I think. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait. Aha, hint coin. 
Again, always make sure to check. Also, I'm mildly annoyed about this. Aha! Uh -huh. huh? Hey, I was gonna say, there's no way there's a third one here, right? Oh, wait. I saw some dust there. And it's a puzzle. Oh, no, hidden puzzle. I wonder if I can solve this one. Put yourself to the test, Ernest. I'm sure you can do it. Gosh, when you say things like that, miss, I feel like there's nothing I can do. <laughs> number of numbers. The number from 1 to 5 have counted up the number of something about them. 1 has 1, 2 has 1, 3 has 0, and 4 has 3. How many does 5 have? Hmm. I think I know what this could be. A lot of boring math later. I want to say two. Let's see if this is right. I have a feeling that perhaps. Because it's in the picture. Thank goodness I got that right. Yeah, I got it right. I wonder if my logic is right. Oh. Oh my, oh my god, I, th this is such, I used the wrong form formula to get the, to the right answer. Because my idea was that in the picture, there were colored banners, and there was no, none that were actually, at least I thought there were no orange, but I just thought there is one orange. My god, I, I got so lucky in there. How many straight lines they, count, they contain? Yeah, I got so freaking lucky there, because... Honestly, I already thought it was like some the color that was on the stage, and I saw, oh, there's a blue flag and another blue striped blue flag there. Okay, so maybe that's that. And the reason orange was here because there was no orange flags, and no, there is one right there. Oh my god! I got so lucky with that. Ha! Huh, there, I've done it. I knew this puzzle couldn't get the better of me. Well done, Ernest. Oh, Miss, you're too kind. Such high praise. From you is worth all the tea in China. Easy, Pinstripe. It was only a well done. <laughs> oh! Third end coin, nice. So, yeah, I think I have to ask this guy. Dog, you haven't seen a suspicious looking chap wearing glasses shuffling around these parts, have you? What's this? What's this? So, you are investigating something. something. I knew it. No, no, we're just looking for him to ask him something, that's all. Well, I'm sorry to say, I only just got here myself. So I haven't seen the aforementioned gent, no. Do I talk to him again? There's a spooky, suspicious looking chap, you say? Something tells me this is gonna be news, big news. No, apparently not. Oh, I just... I just saw a dog here! Oh look, Cheryl, it's a doggy friend again. Oh, him! You might as well ask him if he's seen the chap we're looking for, Cheryl. Yes, he might have some useful information. Alright, I'll go and see a quick poof and see what he knows. How's he hanging out? Still losing? Yep, afraid so. You really work too hard, you know that? So, what are you chasing today? A dog dodgy looking guy wearing glasses. Looks like he's hunting hunting for something the whole time. Have you seen anyone like that? Well, there was a guy kind of like that who walked past not too long ago. I remember because he wasn't looking where he was going and nearly trod on my paw. That sounds like our like man. Which way did he go? Just over there, hound, across the opposite side of the river. Guess he's still there now, though. Well, thanks anyway. That's a big help. I owe you one. Hey, hounds up hounds, right? But yeah, I'll tell you what. Right now, I'm good for eats, but when the going gets tough, maybe you could share one of your bones with me or something? No problem. I've got some business with your name on them for dessert, too. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking, how? Well, did you find anything out, Cheryl? You saw a man not long ago, apparently. He was heading for the other side of the river. Over the bridge! Alright! We're not getting away from us this time, Mr. Shady. Imagine, you're technically wrong about his name. <laughs> 